Hello everyone, welcome back to Azalea Jane Plays Half-Life So You Don't Have To. This is the last chapter of the game. It's called The Nihilanth. In the last chapter, Interloper, we made our way through some different areas of Zen, the border world, and um, found ourselves inside an alien grunt factory, and eventually made it to a portal that brought us right here to the final chapter, The Nihilanth. So, let's see what the Nihilanth is all about. You recall, we were here, we got teleported over there, jumped down here, and now we're about to enter this cool looking portal here. If you listen really closely, you can hear some sound clips from the game, throughout the game. I want to make sure that all my weapons are loaded up. I think I loaded them up for the most part. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Now, what is that? So that is the Nihilanth. It does look pretty strange, doesn't it? it? It resembles the alien controllers a little bit. It's got uh, three arms with one in the middle. Um, it's got a big head, and it seems to be able to fly, although it seems to also be flying by some kind of apparatus rather than on its own. But anyway, these little, um, those little light, the light orbs around him are protecting him. So first thing, let's get behind. Yeah. So these things... These, these crystals here... These crystals here... Um... Oh, did that not work? Those crystals here will regenerate him. If you do him too much damage. And they will continue to protect him. So... We have to kill them. Is that in there? Okay, so now once those crystals are taken out, um, which, by the way, those crystals are the same uh, material that was um, the sample at the beginning of the game that we pushed into the anti-mass spectrometer, that's the same stuff that these crystals are. He's got two attacks. One is... One is like just these fireballs, and the other is a portal. Ooh, hey, ha -ha. If the portal doesn't hit you and hits a wall, it spawns an enemy. But we're going to go in one of these portals. Did you hear that? He's continuing to talk to me. Not you alone? Is that what you said? Hi. So fortunately, these places that he sends you have supplies in them. There's some ammo, some battery, some health. Excellent. Oh dear.
Unfortunately, there are some enemies in here too, but they're not too bad. Alright, yeah. Not too bad. More health, more armor. Excellent. Let's see. The edges, these... these <laughs> the ledges are kind of hard to see. Oops. on edge. Running out of bullets in the magnum and then having to switch to something. Let's see. Are we really feel yeah we are. Okay. Almost out of here, folks. <laughs> Almost back to go fight the Nihilath. You can see it's a little bit of an ordeal, you know. Um, as I've been getting better at fighting the Nihilanth, I try to actually just avoid um, getting in uh, teleported, because I have enough ammo. Ah! If you know what to do. Um, okay. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. Let's do this. Okay. Back. Hello. All right. So now here's where we can really start. So unfortunately, every time, as I said, every time you see that controller appear from nowhere. Yeah. Every time he sends a. Uh, It's pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> anyway, but we can, we can... As, uh, the more you damage him, you can see... Um... The more those little balls disappear. Let's let get teleported again, just for, just for funsies. Oh boy. I got killed. Wow, amazing how they took my life. Okay, those are quite a nuisance, aren't they? Let's go over here and see what we have. That's almost gone. That's pretty good. Nine millimeter isn't doing so well, but we don't really need a lot of those. Darts are looking pretty good. Okay, well, that was nice. Look at all that, oh, <laughs> look at all that. We are ready to go. So how do we get out of here? Well, we have to ride one of these weird little things. Yeah, yeah, it's a strange place. <clears throat> and then just like wait for a second, you know, just enjoy the, enjoy the ride. It does speed up right here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> Strange place, strange place. Okay, where are we? Where were we? Haha! -ha. Hmm. Let's 
see, this is where I want to be. Oh no! <laughs> so many enemies now. Actually... I want to get warped one more time. So I want to show you one more room. All right, come and get me. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think you can you can destroy the warps, but I didn't realize you could do do that with the uh, hive hand. You could with explosives. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we got killed. <clears throat> well, that's fine. That, that happens. <laughs> no, we might as well get teleported the third time. What he said? He said something like he will deceive you? Who will deceive you? Okay. So this is the last of the three rooms that uh, Nyalanth teleports you to. If you get teleported again, you actually just come back to this room. Here is a healing pool. Perfect. We get ourselves all nice and ready to face down the Nihilanth. Which, you know, I've kind of just been toying with them, honestly, because I want to show everybody the thing. But, um... Actually, if you go down... So I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, you saw me swim through there briefly. There's a bunch more power-ups and an ichthyosaur, one of those uh, shark things, um, alien sharks down there. And if you really want to uh, get all those power-ups, you can go down there. But that is, look at all that. <laughs> That's great. I have more than enough to finish off the Nihilanth right now. So let's just go, but I wanted to just sort of, you know, show all the different rooms in this level. Because I'm here, why not? <laughs> and I think I can just go down here without damage. And there's one last thing that I, uh, well, very easy to miss. Right there is the exit, and this trampoline will get us to the exit if we want. But, do you see that? That looks like maybe a ledge? Oh my goodness, it's a ledge. Is that? Ouch. Okay, let's try that again. That looked like someone on the ledge. Wild. I'll take that. Where'd it go? Uh -huh. Up there somewhere. Right there. Now you see it, now you, now you don't. Well, let's just try this. There it is. Oh, I landed on top of him. Hi! Hello? You look like you're covered in... Okay, that's weird. Are you, like, getting a disease or something? That's really strange. 
He doesn't say anything. But that's a scientist without a hazard suit in the Nylanth's fucking, like, lair, whatever. Lead the way. Yeah, um, you're not going to mention the fact that we are, like, on the border world and you are not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, that's that's the thing I wanted to show mainly was uh, the random scientist. Let's see if we can get out of here. That'd be great. Okay, now it's time to go back and deal with the Nihilanth once, once and for all. Deal with the Nihilanth once and for all. Um, here, load it up. Look at this. We are good to go. Ready? Ready, kids? Let's do this. All right. Oops. Oh, that's because I have the... Okay, so when you damage him enough, he can't send you... He can't uh, do, te do uh, those weird... Oops. <laughs> he can't send uh, teleporting orbs anymore. And you can only fire one die, miserable death. <laughs> he can't fire any more uh, teleporters, and he can't fire like a huge barrage of, of those energy spheres. It's just one at a time. And it, he, he's hurting. So at this point, you just have to do a bunch of more damage to him. And then, um, generally, the, you do the last hit to his head. I think you can do without that if you if you do enough damage but um it's kind of fun to go do the final blow to the head and a little easier anyway than just spamming in with the rest of your ammo all right <clears throat> so it's this lo this this pad we want where we see the uh healing pool which we haven't visited it's kind of exposed over there on the right Ready? Ready? There's his head. And now he's dead. Oops. I'm gonna do one thing though that is uh, uh, sort of traditional I, I hear, I don't know. Um, which is dealing the last blow of the nylanth to the nylanth with the crowbar. So I'm going to do that this time, if it would only load. Computer. Okay. So if I've done enough damage to him, it should just take one crowbar hit to, to kill him. There he is. That's it. Let's see if I can get out of his head. So we can watch the light show. Oh, come on. Come on. How do you... There we go. Okay. That's the light show. The Nihilanth is dead. And I just killed myself. <laughs> by landing on a trampoline. So let's do this one more time. I did the crowbar thing. So I'm just going to do the... And I'll do the crowbar thing again. <laughs> if I can get there. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. And there he is. He's dead. Let's see if we can get off him again. And this time, not land on a teleporter pad and die. I don't even know if I'm on, if it considers me in the air or on the ground in here, but I can't get out. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Okay. Looks like we're gonna land. We're fine. Oh, look who it is. 
Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapon. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, then, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers, and they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. A job, you say? You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal, and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well... I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Hmm. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Yeah, especially I don't have my weapons. Time to choose. Okay. So, the G-Man appears at the end after we've defeated the Nihilanth. He seems to have some pretty amazing powers. He may not even be what he looks like. He looks like a human, but he... I'm beginning to suspect he's not human. We don't really know who he is. I mean, even now, after so many more Half-Life games have been released, there's still so many questions about who the G-Man is. Um, so, the Nihilanth was the, uh, the entity that was keeping open the portal, um, through which all these aliens were teleporting to Earth. There's a bunch of story behind that, um, the Nihilanth is actually not from Zen, and I, I think the other species we see there aren't from it either, but they were driven there by some other force that they were fleeing. And so the Nihilanth and his minions um, are on Zen, and then this portal opens, and it's a chance for them to flee somewhere else. And so the Nihilanth is keeping this portal open with his, you know, his telepathic power or whatever, and he's enslaving the, the Vortigaunts and um, having them work in a factory and build uh, more, um, more minions uh, to invade Earth. And we defeat the Nihilanth, and presumably closing the portal. Um, <clears throat> but there are still so many questions. Who are G-Man's employers? Um, what do they want from us? Anyway, let's choose. Mr. Freeman, I will see you up ahead. Hired. And that's Half-Life. Just for the sake of completeness and curiosity, I'll show you what happens if you decline. It's time to choose. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. Oh dear. Those are the two possible endings of Half-Life. And uh okay, well that's that's Half-Life. Um quite an interesting story. And the story is, you know, it thickens even more with Half-Life 2 and the other, and the various expansions of this one, and everything else. So all in all, there's, um, there's Half-Life, there's Half-Life 2, 
there are, well, before Half-Life 2, there are two expansions to Half-Life called Opposing Force and Blue Shift, who one follows the uh, viewpoint of one of the military and one follows the viewpoint of uh, one of the security guards. Um, there's also a game called Half-Life Decay that gives a bunch of, uh, introduces some new characters and gives some back, some, some more backstory. Um, it's hard to play. I've never played it because it was like a PS2 game or something. Um, and then there's Half-Life 2, as I said, and then there have been two sort of like episodes, episode one and episode two, that are like sequels to Half-Life, but they're not quite Half-Life 3 length. And then there's, um, very recently, there's Half-Life Alex, um, named after Alex Vance, A-L-Y-X, daughter of Eli Vance, whom we met briefly in uh, Half-Life. And I think that also, I'm not actually sure where that happens in the timeline because it's for VR and I have no way of playing it. Um, but anyway, uh, there's a lot to this universe that's pretty interesting and engrossing. I've had a lot of fun um, recording this. And uh, I might do another one like it. I think I might actually do sort of a reaction playthrough for uh, Black Mesa Definitive Edition. I've played most of Black Mesa. Um, already but I haven't played the I haven't finished it I haven't gotten to the last two chapters and I um, haven't played this new version that has some changes and so I think I might go through that and sort of react to it and see how it goes um, hopefully I don't die too much there anyway if you're still here thank you so much um, I'd love it if you checked out my patreon and see if you consider supporting even me even a tiny bit per month um, especially right now I have I just started it and every number every Every number counts for real. So um, you can also check my, check out my music channel. Um, follow me on Twitter if you like, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, tell me, I hope, tell me if you enjoyed this. And um, I'm blathering now. So bye.